What's up you guys? Welcome back to a week in my life in New York City. It's Monday. I literally woke up at 4 a.m. this morning and flew from Miami to New York. I had the best weekend. If you guys didn't watch my vlog, go check it out now. I have spent the day cleaning, resetting. I kind of treated today as a Sunday. I'm very grateful that I was able to do so. So I was doing lots of loads of laundry, washing my sheets, like cleaning, unboxing, unpacking, like that's a really good feeling to like land and unpack, which I don't always do. My outfit is really random. I'm headed over to Brooks right now to record an episode of Gals in the Go podcast and my outfit's really random. The vest is for warmth. Um, it doesn't really go, but when we record, I'm just gonna be wearing the hat with the pink sweat set. It's from Aritzia. And then my shoes are Adidas Falcon sneakers. Hat, Spritz Society, one of my favorite drinks, cocktails. Well, it's a wine-based seltzer more so. But yeah, this vest is purely for warmth and it was the only thing that like kind of went. I don't know, people might think I'm crazy, but what's new? And then from there, we're gonna go over to Delaney's apartment. We're really gonna do this where we're gonna cook at each other's apartment once a week because we used to be roommates in college. And now that my best friend literally lives here, it's so exciting. So last week, or two weeks ago, cause last week was kind of crazy for me cause I was traveling. Two weeks ago she came over here, we made chicken piccata, and then this week I'm going over to hers tonight, we're making steak, rice, broccoli, I think. So I'm really excited to catch up with Brooke because I haven't seen her since I went to Miami, and then obviously record the podcast. I just feel so silly in this outfit, oh my gosh. And then go see Delaney, so very exciting. I haven't even seen Ryan yet, but um, we'll find time to do that as well. And, Let's get on with the day. It's, it's four o'clock. I've been doing things all day, but you guys got little glimpses. Um, I'm at Brooks now. Hello. And she's playing Jack Johnson. It's such yeah, a vibe in a here. Vibe in here. Yes, excited to record. It's going to be a good episode. Gals yeah. on the go. Oh, hello. Hello, darling. Oh my gosh, Delaney's vibes right now are so good. Last time I was here, you didn't have this. I didn't have that. I should so. have had a coffee table by now, but... It's okay. Coffee table will be coming soon. Guys, look how cute. She's gonna, I think she's putting a mirror up here and like getting an organizer for her jewelry, but she really had a vision here and I'm obsessed. It's coming together slowly, but surely. It's coming together. We're about to make some food, but we're recapping our weekends. I just can't believe you like live here and I just popped over. It's amazing. All right, what are the ingredients tonight? So we got some steak stamps. I'm so excited. We got some onions, we got some peppers, and I'm a saute. So, saute. And then I have rice. Oh Yay! God. She has rice. This is one of the meals we used to make when we were roommates. We usually would do st uh, shaved steak, which is hard to find, to be fair. It like, hard to find. But it's so easy to cook because it's so thin. and right ugh. But this we've done this before. Cut up, like, even more. So yeah. Little bites. I like that. So, peppers, onions, rice, and steak. Sounds like a good meal to me. Mm -hmm. Also, she added this little mirror here, and I'm vibing with it. It's so cute, right? Yeah. We're grinding over here. We're catching up on our weekends and cooking at the same time. It's very efficient, really. I know, we've just been here stirring and Stirring and, and gabbing and cutting, all the things. When should I add the onions? Right now. Right now? This is so good. They always say your, your meals should have color, too, right? It's yes. like a thing. A Look grain, at that. A veggie, a meat. Love this for us. We hit the trifecta. <sighs> It's about 10.40 and I just got back. I had a lovely evening. Delaney and I's um, dinner was so good. It was so good. I love like steak with peppers and rice. It's a good combo. <sighs> oh, so we hang out for a little and she had some work stuff to do actually. So I ended up going to Ryan. So it was nice. I got to see all the peeps. I saw Brooke and then Delaney and then Ryan all in one night. I'm traveling around the city um, and I actually went and sat with Ryan at a restaurant because he hadn't eaten food and he was like, let's just go somewhere. So I sat there while he ate and we caught up because I haven't seen him all this weekend. We went back to his apartment for a little bit and chilled out and I was like, I need to, I almost slept there, but he had more work to do. So I was like, I need to go to bed like right now. I need lights off like ASAP. Um, I'm supposed to go to Pilates in the morning, but it's really early class and considering I woke up at 3, 4 a.m. this morning, I should probably get as much rest as I possibly can. So I think I'm going to cancel that and like 
it's gonna be okay. I just, I have a lot coming up the next few weeks. Going on tour for Gals on the Go, two sold out shows in Atlanta next week. I'm so pumped there. And then we're doing um, Orlando and Tampa, which are not sold out yet. And I'm like, these are my hometowns, come on. I need to see you guys there. They're really cool at comedy clubs. You can bring a friend, you can come alone. It's like a table vibe, so it's really chill. Um, and those are February 15th in Orlando and February 16th in Tampa. I'm literally so excited. Like the shows are so much fun. We do, we get in the audience and we chat with you guys, all of the things. So yeah, I just want to stay healthy and just good. I have a lot of visitors coming this weekend. Ryan's family, my friend Alex, Gretchen and Max are coming into town this week and there's just a lot happening. So I want to make sure I'm taking like my moments. I'm really thankful I had today to kind of get my life together for the week. I'm very grateful that I had that. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in the morning. I need to go to bed. <laughs> breakfast on the couch kind of morning hello guys it is Tuesday and I woke up today and I just have and I woke up today yes I did think I'm thankful to have woken up today I have just been sitting on my couch honestly watching TV and responding to emails coordinating with Brooke on a ton of things making canvas like just kind of a get your shit back together situation type of day, which I really need, so it's kind of boring in the sense of vlogs. So I've just been in my happy couch corner, which I just love this corner so much. And I've been really, really productive. I've just had like some mindless television on, which has just been oh so lovely, taking calls, doing all the things. And I was like, that is the beauty of working from home and what I am really grateful for. I, it's not even morning anymore, it's noon, but I'm in my PJ still and I'm getting stuff done. So I'm really thankful for that. Um, but yeah, we have a call at 4.30 to go over our live show stuff. Um, just kind of doing all the things. I have a pile of laundry over there that I really need to fold, but I just, we have so much stuff to do for Gals on the Go and like my personal email, stuff like that. So that's what's priority right now, but I'm content. I am very content right now. Yes, I ordered Chick-fil-A for breakfast this morning and yes, I got sweet green for lunch. I haven't gotten groceries yet. Doesn't this just look divine? Arugula, wild rice, chicken, chickpeas, lentils, lentils, tomatoes, cucumbers, and avocado with balsamic vinaigrette. Yum! Okay, I finally got up. I put on this Charlotte Tilbury cryo face mask. I keep it in my freezer. And these pressure points really help. I was starting to get a headache. Gotta fold the laundry. I also um, need to unload my dishwasher so I can reload my dishwasher. And then what else? Need to clean my counters. I just took out the trash and recycling, so I'm gonna put another recycling bag in there. I didn't make my bed this morning. I actually have my comforter being washed right now because it doesn't fit in my washer dryer, so I sent it out yesterday. So I've just been sleeping with sheets and then this Barefoot Dreams blanket, and I actually slept great, so. Um, but yeah, I'll make my bed, <laughs> however this is. I'm gonna keep my pajamas on until I can't no more because it's a fun feeling. <laughs> trying on some of my outfits for our Gals on the Go show next week and I'm so happy with them. I'm like obsessed. I'm looking at them. They're they're obviously pink. Literally, it's 
4 30, almost 4 30 about to hop on a call with brooke and emma for the gals in the go live show i have water i need another coffee and i have my ice roller here we're not doing video i've been using these grace and stella eye masks from amazon and i love them i think i need to hop on this call though while i do this but so excited we're talking about all the logistics like glam hair photographer music that we want to use like going over the programming just literally everything so i'm very excited about that hello girls how is everybody so jealous thank you danielle i know well i've just been like working from my couch a gal on the couch today it's been lovely that was so formal <laughs> formal i'm just so formal in my pajamas update it's a lot later now i'm watching nashville on hulu i just started liking it so far it's fiction but it's about like country music artists in nashville and like i'm assuming it's gonna get really good i'm literally on episode one but i'm liking it hayden patineer pat panettiere isn't it claire bowen chris carmack all the people um i just was unboxing boxes that i got from when i was in miami like packages that came so i flattened all those boxes i need to bring that down as you can see, I really need to fold my laundry. I purposely, I've never done this before. I put my laundry on my table so that I see it instead of leaving it in the dryer because then I don't and I forget about it. And this is just like an eyesore, so it needs to be done. Still in my pajamas. I'm gonna shower though and get out of these pajamas, I think. So yeah, it's time to fold laundry. Actually, I think we're gonna shower first because my head kind of hurts and I feel like this will just feel nice. don't remember the last time I vlogged, but um, I folded all of my laundry, put pretty much all of it away, and then Ryan came over and we watched two episodes of this new show that just came out on Hulu. I haven't heard anyone talk about it, but I'm obsessed and there's only two episodes, gosh, there's only two episodes out. It's called The Watchful Eye on Hulu. It's so good. It's like this girl who becomes a nanny in a very wealthy family in this old building in New York City. It's kind of giving mur only murders in the building vibes. Um, and it's so good. Highly suggest watching a great show to watch with your partner or just alone. I'm obsessed. And um, I'm forgetting the name, but the grandma from Gilmore Girls is in it. So that's kind of fun. But yeah, definitely go give it a watch. Anyways, oh, I got my UGA National Championship t-shirt in the mail. I'm gonna go to bed, I'm tired, and I'm trying to like, when I start to feel tired, just get in bed rather than like, keep watching TV or like, stay up, just like it's kind of, it's like 10, which is a good time to go to bed, but I'm like, oh, I could be up a little bit later, and then I just get overstimulated and I can't go to sleep, so. We're just gonna go to sleep when we're tired. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning, which means we are headed to work out with my trainer, Jane. Here's my little workout fit. It's a set from Story. Shoes are APL. They're great for like weightlifting and stuff because they're flat. Sweatshirt I got from Motel Rocks. It says cowgirl. We are a gal on the go today. All really fun things. Um, from my workout, I'll have like an hour in between, but I'm going to Chill House in Soho. I am so excited. It is like a wellness spa-ish situation. I don't even know how to explain it. They do like, yeah, it's a spa. They do pedicures, manicures, reflexology. They have a sauna, so and they massages, facials, I think, like all the things. Today I'm going and I'm gonna do the sauna, or they call it the chill heat room. It's an infrared sauna. Um, I'm definitely in need of that. And then they also do reflexology, which is like on your feet, and it's very relaxing. It's kind of like a foot massage, but they like tap certain parts to relax you, and I've done it before and I love it. So we're gonna go do those things today, and then recording another episode of Gals on the Go with Brooke later tonight. So. That is kind of the gist of the day. Let's get started. It's freezing cold outside, so gotta bundle up.
back now I stopped at Citarella just for a couple things because I didn't really have any groceries okay where should I start rotisserie chicken I'm gonna start making I also got this lettuce mix to do like a salad with rotisserie chicken on top red onions because I'm like obsessed with red onions right now maybe add avocado cut up cucumbers and like a dressing got avocados for salad breakfast all the things Two apples, baby carrots. I got some hard boiled eggs. I used to get these from Trader Joe's all the time. And they're really great before a workout or if I need like a little snack with some everything but the bagel seasoning. Regular eggs and then a kombucha. So that's what I got. The, these cucumbers are for the salad and then also to cut up and eat with hummus as I've been loving. So that's my little haul. Just made this salad. I will update you guys how it is. But yeah, I did like the dark meat from the rotisserie chicken, cucumbers, the lettuce red onions, and all I had was Italian dressing. Ideally, balsamic vinaigrette would have been better, but they're very similar, so cheers. Brooke is on her way over. We're pre-recording an episode of Gals in the Go for next week. It's not like super in advance because this episode is gonna go up next Wednesday, so we're just recording it a little bit sooner than we normally do because we're going to Atlanta next week for the Atlanta live shows. We're doing two nights in a row, sold out. I'm literally so excited. Like, I can't get over it. Um, I just attempted to blow out my hair a little bit. I have my hair up here in a roller. We're gonna just do no makeup, chill clothes. So I'll probably just put on a sweat set or something, which I love. Like I've just been loving recording the podcast in our apartment. It's way more of our vibe. But yeah, Chill House was so chill. It was amazing. The sauna, I will definitely be doing that again. You literally get, I don't know if you guys can see in my vlogs, it was so dark in there. You literally get your own pod. So you get the, your sauna. Then there's a shower in that room with towels, slippers, robe, products, like deodorant, and moisturizer, body oil. It's so lovely. So when you're done with the sauna, you can just get in the shower. You don't have to like be in a locker room. Like it's so personal and so nice. And then I got the reflexology massage, which is basically just like a foot massage. Oh, I am like so grateful I got to go today. It was so amazing. Chill House, it's in Soho, and I think only Soho. Highly suggest. They played the most relaxing music in the sauna. It wasn't like your typical like spa music. It was like music that I put in the background of my vlogs and music that I just listen to when I'm doing work. There's like no words. It's like chill, lo-fi beats, lo-fi. I don't know how to say that. Um, loved. So yeah, just prepping. The salad was good. Definitely wish I had different dressing and I like need to get different salad bowls I don't know how to explain it But like I hate when I keep trying to eat a salad and like my lettuce pops over the bowl Just the little things, but I think I need to get like a deep salad bowl so I can really enjoy it and eat it I don't know if that makes sense, but it's pretty good And then I also just cut up an apple and I'm snacking on that getting this apple slicer has just changed my life So decided to even go more ham use these two rollers and then the smaller ones. I switched to those two smaller ones. These are my friend Bridget Acquired Styles hair rollers. I know they're they're through Luxie Hair. I know she's restocked. I don't know if they're available at the moment, but they're great. So I'm just gonna keep them in until Brooke gets here. Um, and then this is what I'm wearing for the pod. It's just this Juicy Couture little set situation. I thought it'd be good because we're doing a Galentine's episode. So I thought this was very on theme. Wait, guys, I actually feel like Bridget right now with the small, I've never used the small ones and it definitely um, did something. Hi, Brooke. Hi. How are you? Up? Welcome uh, to the pad. Thanks. <laughs> I am very casual hair It's natural. perfect. Yeah. We're natural today. Hi, guys. So Brooke left about 30 minutes ago and then I had to get a ton of work done, but it was honestly kind of nice. You know when you're in a rush and then you're like, I literally have to get it done. So that was good. 
Ryan surprised us with fancy dinner plans tonight randomly. Fancy ramen. Fancy ramen. You guys know Ryan and I love going to get ramen together. So he found this place literally yesterday and was like, we're going tomorrow, 9.15. I was like, I'm up. That was the only, uh, only spot to head. Um, but it's called, it's J-E-J-U Noodle Bar. And it has a Michelin star. Um, or no? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. He, at one point, it, I, I think so. That's what the app said. He found it on this cool new app he's been using. So he was like, I came from the office today, so I'm dressed nice if you want to. We literally recorded the podcast without makeup, so love that for me. But it's okay. This dress always comes in handy. It's my last minute dress. It's my going to see a Broadway show dress. It's just this black midi dress. I literally love it so much. And then I'm wearing tall black boots from Franco Sarto because it's cold outside. So gonna add a coat and then I'm just I'm just not putting on makeup I'm just not it's not happening but I have these earrings on and I'll add a coat we're gonna go to dinner <laughs> everybody it's Thursday morning Thursday is my favorite day of the week there's just so much excitement about the weekend ahead I don't know love Thursdays oh I just knew I just should have known that was gonna happen um today is a very busy Thursday lots of work stuff lots of appointments actually just one appointment I'm so dramatic going to the dentist today it's happening it needs to happen I'm way past my like six months the last dentist appointment I went to was in Florida last January so it's time and I take my dental health very seriously um, because like in high school I was very cavity prone um, and I really don't want to have any cavities so I feel like I take really good care of my teeth but we're gonna find out so I'm going to this new dentist called Maison B Dental. I'm not gonna lie. Well, one, my friend Kelly went, so she said it was good. And two, it looks really cute. Like, I mean, and it's like, I can walk there. I don't know. I didn't know how to choose a dentist. I had one friend that went and said it was good and it's like adorable. I'll vlog when I'm there. So, I mean, that's New York for you. Like, Tampa, Florida doesn't have aesthetically pleasing dentist office. So you know what? If I have an option, I'm gonna choose that one. So, but before that, we're gonna go back to Pilates and my Pilates Princess era. No, I'm kidding, I'm totally kidding. I have been getting into Pilates recently because like it's a lower impact workout. It doesn't trigger my health anxiety. Like I feel very relaxed there. I go to New York Pilates. And of course now on TikTok, it's like, oh, so Pilates is the new soul cycle. It's so trendy. I'm like, it's not what I'm doing here. Like, for me, workouts shouldn't be trendy. Like, workouts, like, I think a lot of people are just realizing that Pilates is more maybe sustainable for them to work out. And they, you know, I'm just realizing whatever workout, I did not make my bed yet. Whatever workout I can do that I'll, like, want to go consistently, I feel like that's good. And for me right now, that's Pilates. I've been really enjoying it and just like more like low impact workouts like the bar class I went to at Equinox, stuff like that. So, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna go to that class and then come back, shower really quick, and then go just get my teeth cleaned. Hopefully, it'll just be a really easy appointment and they'll tell me I'm all good to go. And yeah, I gotta get my Pilates socks. These things have helped so much. I guess I can't find my black ones. Or they just have like little like grippies on the bottom, so it's really easy to like be on the reformer and you don't slip. But yeah, and then after that, I have a couple calls. My friend Alex is coming into town today for the weekend. She's staying with my friend Delaney. Ryan's family is coming into town this weekend. I think I already said that in this vlog. So things are starting to happen. But we, I'm trying to stick on a routine. I had oatmeal this morning. It was very good. Okay, let's go work out. Oh. 
Workout was great. Now time to hop in the shower and go to the dentist. Woo! Just showered and I put on my thermal leggings or like my fleece line leggings and this sweater from Zara. I realize I've barely worn turtleneck like sweaters this winter. I don't know why. Like they're still in, right? I don't know. I feel like I keep grab like gravitating towards like sweatshirts and hoodies and kind of more that route and just layering but like this is kind of a chic look with like a trench anyways i'm about to go to the dentist but i think i want a little snack i'm really happy about my hard boiled egg purchase or yeah so i'm gonna have one of these with some everything but the bagel seasoning this stuff is so good on a hard boiled egg it's hard to like get it on there, but <laughs> cheers. And then I'm gonna brush my teeth again because nothing is worse than being at a teeth cleaning and they go through your teeth and like, oh, found your breakfast. I'm like, <laughs> back from the dentist. It was the most aesthetically pleasing dentist I've truly ever been to. I don't think I've ever done this, but I feel like I literally need to do a haul because this goodie bag is so nice. <laughs> This is where I went, Maison B. It was gorgeous. Literally, while she was cleaning my teeth, I got headphones. There was a TV above me. I got a remote. I got to click whatever I wanted to watch on Netflix. I got eye patches under my eyes. It was truly amazing. It was the easiest teeth cleaning I've ever had because I got to like, I was, I started playing Empire New York. Very good. Let's see. I got a hat. It's actually a very cute hat. Does it say dentist? Okay, good. It doesn't say I feel like if I walked around dental hat, but this is actually a pretty cute hat. And then this I purchased because um my teeth, you guys. <gasps> uh she thinks or she I have cavities, so I have to go back. And I'm not happy because I haven't had a cavity in a long time. So I'm just like, what the heck? It could be the acidity is like what we were chatting about. Anyways. I'm trying a new toothpaste, so I'm not thrilled that it's citrus, so didn't realize that. And then a maintenance rinse, like a mouthwash every night in the morning. I have no clue what this is. It's really cute. Everything in there, guys, is seriously so pretty. Maybe it's some, maybe is this a toothbrush? I wonder, is this, oh my god. Stop it. I don't know if I was right in doing that, but if so, that's adorable. Oh my God, that's freaking cute. And then literally during out through the whole teeth cleaning, they kept putting lip balm on me, which was really nice. And it looks like they have their own lip balm. So if you're looking for a new dentist, Maison B in Flatiron is fab. I love a goodie bag. I love a goodie bag. Usually when I go to the dentist, they give you like a little plastic goodie bag. So. That was really nice, and I actually really like this hat. Anywho, that is going to be the end of this vlog. It's Thursday. I have three calls back to back about Gals on the Go merch. About I have a call with like Like to Know It um, to go over like linking stuff, and then the weekend begins. Going to Comedy Cellar tonight with um, Delaney and my friend Alex, and just doing all kinds of things. So I'm gonna start a weekend in my life vlog. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!